Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Lenovo Yoga 910 series laptop computer. I'm going to take you through a teardown or disassembly video so you can see various components inside and how to access them safely. So first thing we want to do guys, shut the computer down, make sure it's powered off correctly and unplugged from the charger. We're going to flip it over to access our screws. You have four screws up here on this side, four more screws down here on this edge, and then one screw on each side near the middle. Once you get all those screws out, guys, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool and go around the outside of the computer and pry off the bottom case from the palm rest. Just go around that seam and gently and slowly pry off that case. After you do, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. As I always recommend, guys, the first thing to do when accessing anything in a computer is to unplug your battery. We want to get as little power running through this computer as possible to make it as safe as possible to work on. So because this is a teardown, I'll physically remove the battery. But if you're just looking to replace one component, simply unplugging the battery is okay. Another note, when you're taking off that bottom case, there's a clip right here in the middle of your battery, and it's going to hold the bottom case down. It's going to feel like you missed a screw right in this area, but it's not. It's just this clip. So just use a little force, and that should pop right off that battery. To get the battery out, you have four screws near these four arrows, and the battery plug is right here. It's a white port on the motherboard and a black plug that runs from the battery wires. After these are unplugged, you can put a little pressure on this black plug just up out of the computer and slightly down and that'll snap out of there. And this is what you're looking at after that battery is removed. Another piece of note guys, when I'm working on a computer, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Um, either that or an anti-static bracelet is a great way to limit the chances of damaging anything in your computer. If you need any help with any hand tools or anti-static gear, there'll be a link above, also below in the description to my Amazon store. In my store, guys, there's several lists. Repair tools is one of them. Uh, you'll see there some commonly used hand tool sets, some anti-static gear, uh, things that I use commonly in my shop. You can check out the link above. I'll also have it below in the description. The next item I'll show you guys is right here. It's your solid state drive and your Wi-Fi card right there. They're both held in kind of the same way. There's one screw on the right center of each board. And once you unscrew that, your solid state drive will unplug from this port on the left. Same thing with your Wi-Fi card. You unplug that single screw. You pop up these antenna wire, which just snap right up and then that will slide out of the left port right there. So that'll get your solid state drive and your Wi-Fi card can come out kind of the same way. After your solid state drive comes out, this is what you're looking at for your computer. This over here to the left of the fan, guys, this is your power jack board. It's also got a USB on it. So to take this off, we're gonna unplug it here. This ribbon cable comes in and plugs into a white port on the motherboard right here. There'll be a black retainer clip on this white port. And the way that you release this ribbon cable is those black clips, they open and close almost like a book cover. So you wanna very gently take a very thin pry tool, slide it under that black clip and pop it up just a little bit. Be very careful with those black clips. They're very, very breakable. And if you damage it or break it, you may not be able to find a replacement. So go very carefully when undoing any of those type of, of ribbon cable clips anywhere on your motherboard. After releasing that, you have these three screws. And the ribbon cable itself is held down by double-sided tape. So you may have to pull that up a little bit. But after you get that up, this power jack board with this USB on it, that board will be able to come up. After that board comes up, this is what you're looking at. And after the Wi-Fi card is gone, this is what we're looking at. Now, the next thing I'm, I'm going to show you how to get at usually would be your fan, uh, fans and your heatsink assembly. But in this annoying computer, your fans and your heatsink is underneath the motherboard. So we've got to take the whole motherboard up to get at your fans and, and your heatsink. So you're going to go through this nice and slow, take out all the screws. You've got this screw here holding down your fan, this screw holding down your fan. You've got all these ribbon cables too. There's quite a lot of them. You've got a ribbon cable coming in here. This one has a white retainer clip, but it's the same idea as the one we just did. You slide your pry tool under the clip and you pop it up like a book cover very gently and you can get all these ribbon cables out. They're all held in the exact same way. And then you un undo these screws 
on the motherboard, and then you can get this whole assembly up. And this is what that looks like here. Here's your CPU, and there's your heat sink running between your fans, and you can get that up with these three screws over your CPU holding down your heat sink, and then this screw right here. So that's what you're looking at for most of these components, guys. I went kind of quick, but I hope it was thorough. Check out the FAQs below in the description. If you have any questions, it could save you some time getting an answer. If you need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. And I'll leave you now with a quick word from my affiliate partner, a great place to get games, Humble Bundle. At Humble, guys, you can get the latest games at great prices. They also have great ways to save when you're buying. You can bundle your games together in a purchase instead of buying them one at a time. You can also join Humble Choice, which is a monthly subscription service that gets you free games every month. And you can also feel good about your purchases because Humble has donated a ton of money to charity. And every time you pay your Humble Choice membership, every time you use my link, charity gets more. So it's a great website, guys. Great place to get games. Check it out with the link above. I'll also have the link below in my description.